Hey guys, how is it going? I am in Katajuta in the Valley of the Winds entrance and I just needed to stop and take a moment to just share with you guys what I've been feeling and how inspired I've been as I've been traveling through this ancient land and receiving all of this information that that who knows, maybe it's coming from the land, maybe it's coming from deep within me and I just wanted to share a little bit about consciousness and what conscious entrepreneurship means on a deeper sense. It's, it's way more than our limiting beliefs. It's way more than our mindset to change those beliefs. It's, it's, it's a total, complete connection to our inner and external environment and what that means in a very, very practical way is that we have to connect more to the energy of who we are and how we do that is through our emotions. If we're feeling overwhelmed or anxious or stressed and we are living life not stopping to smell the roses, there is there is this block to allowing our emotions to come through. You know, we talk about truly expressing who we are. We need our emotions. Emotions are energy. And, you know, just the other day we were sitting um, in these ancient sites and we laid out our mat, me and my friend Kira, uh, we were meditating with the land and people were looking at us like, oh, what's this hippity dippity bullshit, right? Uh, and people were laughing at us, but yet we, we stay committed, we let them do their thing, we were fully in our presence and doing what we needed to do. Um, and yeah, I mean, I can get defensive and talk about all the quantum science out there and the neuroscience about the benefits of meditation and groups creating d changes in the weather pattern just by connecting to consciousness. And there's so much about that. Um, and I don't need to get into that. For me, I choose to look at life through a more poetic lens because that to me makes life more beautiful. And prayer, meditation, connection, reflection, taking time to pause and to really feel, these are truths that anyone can access. And actually, if you just take a moment and listen, you can hear the wind in the distance. And that wind is said to be, the aboriginals called the rainbow serpent, which lives underneath Uluru. And the rainbow serpent is responsible for transmitting uh, all of the sacred energy throughout the planet. So all the blessings, all the prayers. And just feeling and connecting from a non-logical right brain side. I mean, not even right brain, it's more left and right combined together and full integration of masculine and feminine. There's, there is this complete surrendering to what is beyond words. And this is something that's difficult when we are in a city because we're forced to make logical decisions with just the left brain or we feel like we can only you know do creative things with the right brain but we really need to come into this connection of both how do we do that through breath through pause right there's so many different ways um through prayer through meditation right these are all techniques and tools but really it just comes down to plain old emotion how do we create the emotions we want to feel how do we project the emotions that we want to embody in our lives, in our future. There's so many different tribes of Aboriginal people in Australia and across the board in all the different languages here. There is no word for time. The way that we feel pressured by time, that word doesn't exist. And so the concept of being stuck in our past, being stuck in our what we know as basically trauma you know when you were 10 years old and you, know, you were bullied at school and you never let go of that and you always felt like the need that you had to prove yourself to be something worthy to your parents or to society or whatever it was or maybe it was something more recent maybe you let go of it maybe you accumulated other traumas and other fears along the way but the point is is that if we don't resolve these things we're constantly living in the past and so when you feel confused and you feel that you're not able to move forward to create create the, the business, the life that you want, you're stuck in the past because you're constantly thinking about those things. And you think about that, you're in this thinking feeling loop and then the feelings inform the thoughts. And so if you're thinking about the future and you're coming from a place of, well, I don't have this, I don't have enough money to do this. I don't have enough money to, you know, 
go to the programs I want to go to improve myself, to develop myself, then you're stuck in this scarcity mentality of I don't have enough. And the past and the future really are the same. And that future fear really is because in the past, we were conditioned a certain way to believe that we don't have enough, right? To believe that it's the what I call, well, I'll wait until I get this, then I'll go do that mentality. Um, and if we always live our life in this way, we'll never get the life that we want to design, the life that we feel that in our hearts is the true life that we want to live and express. And so what I would love to leave with you at this moment right here, right now is consider what it is that you are still holding on to, whether big or small, from the past that you're carrying into this moment right here as you're watching this, as you're feeling the energy of this incredible land, what is it that is keeping you in the same habits and the same patterns? Yes, we consciously know I can't be this way. I can't do the same things in the same way that I have been doing it. But then look at the results around you. What actually is happening? What is the truth?